one I'm going to have to get a quick core workout in if you're, when you're feeling too sick to exercise or you can get off the couch. Here you go. Hey mamas, it's Tori from Mommy Bar and I'm going to do a quick how-to exercise for your core while you're feeling too sick to get out of bed or get up off of the couch. That has been me for the past week. And I've still been laying there reading to my son, but engaging my core and pelvic floor, making sure they're still getting a workout. So, this is great um, because for me at least, nausea, uh, if I'm not having to bend down a lot, that's it. All right, so you really don't need anything for this exercise. But if you want to add some to it, you can use some weights, um, a ball if you have it, or just the edge of a chair. All right, do some nice inhales and exhales, pulling that button, belly button all the way into your spine every time you exhale, making sure you're feeling that resistance from the ball um, on your pelvic floor. Just concentrate on that right now. And then what we're going to do is you're, I want you to start trying to just lift one foot at a time. If that is too hard, then don't do it. Keep your feet on the ground. I don't want you rolling away anywhere. It's a lot, if that's too hard on the ball, then step over to the chair. But on the ball, you should be able to just lift one arm at a time. Inhaling, exhaling, pulling that core and pelvic floor up and in towards each other. I'm just gonna lift one arm at a time. Right now, lifting those feet was too hard and you're still on the ball, then I don't want you to do that because it's even harder when you're doing it with your opposite arm, opposite leg. But if you were feeling okay, don't do your arms and just move to your feet. But if you're feeling nice and ready and adventurous and stable, mostly, most importantly, so you're gonna lift one knee and your arm so it's opposite arm, opposite leg. And you're gonna try to keep that ball nice and stable. You're gonna feel this really burning in that belly button, core, pelvic floor area. So you know you're getting a nice engagement and a nice workout there. And make sure you keep breathing and have your water nearby. All right. So that's how you do it on the ball. If you need to see it the other way, I will show you here quickly. So I'm going to just use the side of my reformer tower. My ball doesn't roll around. So you're going to sit on the very edge. And we're going to start lifting one leg at a time. Really feel like that pelvic floor is engaging so much. It's pushing up from underneath of your leg. And just lifting that leg up. I really don't want you to feel like your quads or your hip flexors are doing all the work here. All right, and then from here, we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. So let's do right arm, left leg. Because that's really gonna get that core in there, along with that pelvic floor that was working just by doing your legs. Lifting your arms, I want you to make sure your shoulders and shoulder blades are pulled down and that you're not lifting out like this. All right, and those are great to do just in sets of 10, like three sets of 10 here and there throughout the day. There's nothing saying you need to have a like set 30 minute time to work out. Anything that you're doing when you're really engaging, it's great, it helps in the long run. All right, and guess what? You can do this standing up too, which I love doing in my classes. So you're just gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg, keeping that belly button pulled in, pelvic floor engaged. And again, I don't want those hip flexors and thighs doing all the work. And remember that breath. All 
All right, well, thanks for joining for me, me for this quick little how-to of how to exercise when you're feeling too sick to get up. All right, make sure you remember to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you get notified when our next videos come out. All right, also, just leave a comment. Tell me how you're feeling, what's going on with you, and if you have any questions about pre and postnatal exercise. All right, I'll see you next time at the Mommy Bar.